Ah, boom. Okay, y'all. So, what's up, y'all? This is your girl, Gold Mouth, coming at you guys to show you guys how I'm going to color my hair to get rid of this hill gray. Let me see if I can show you. Y'all probably can't see the my grades don't show up that good. Maybe they do me. I don't know, Chad. But anyway, it's some gray up here, believe it or not. So, um, I'm going to first take my hair down. And I need to dry it some more. I need to dry it some more. It's supposed to be towel dried hair. So, I'm going to take my hair down. Make sure I got it as dry as I could. It's only supposed to be towel dry. It don't need to be, like, bone dry. So, I'm going to take... I'm gonna leave my hair in these sections, and this is the this is the color that I'm gonna use. Let me shake it up a little bit, you know. Child, beautiful, no, Clairol Beautiful Collections Advanced Gray Solution to cover a gray hair, and this color is 1A Midnight Black. So I don't have that much time on my camera, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get it started. And um, you wanna apply the color to the the grayest part of your hair and that's where i'm gonna go which is my edges as y'all can see um if you want to um put a barrier on your between your hair uh and your skin or the color in your skin you can do so if you want to but if not you know you ain't gotta be technical and go uh through each section one piece at a time because it ain't that type of party here i'm just trying to get the little gray out so i can just squirt this here freely and rub it in now if you want to be technical or if you have a whole lot of gray more than me um you might want to go through piece by piece if that's what you wish to do but that's not what i wish to do i just slap it on there make sure for sure for sure that i got my edges and um i call it a day my edges i'm not my edges yeah my edges yeah, this here, up here, this is where the gray is part at. So, I make sure I got a good little coat on that there and go through there. And I'm pretty much good with that much. And I just do the same thing through each little section. And um, I go through my hair as much as I can. You know, um, my hair part ain't no big deal because um, it's already black. My hair is already naturally black, but it gives it a little bit of, you know, a little sheen, a little shine to it or whatever. When I do um, put the blackness, put the black color down my hair shaft, it gives, you know, it work, it work a little bit, do a little something, something. But um, I just make sure I got right here with my hairline at all the way there. Oh, I want to take my glass off because then I won't be able to see nothing. And I got to make sure I don't get this. Get as less as possible on my skin, you know. Um, so I do that to each and every section. Now I go back through. I do go back through and I take it down the hair shelf a little bit and then I just pull it down. I just pull it down the hair shelf and I finger comb it through and I make sure I um, loosely pack it to my skin, to my scalp. And make sure I got my grays covered, y'all. And I just twist that back up. Twist it back up and put my clip back on it. I don't see my clip. There's my clip. Okay, put my clip back on it. And I'm through with that section. And I do the same thing to each and every section, okay? So I'm going to do this section over here because this is my other uh, side here. Now, um, please note that I did not do no conditioning to my hair after I washed it. And the reason why is because the conditioner puts like a barrier over your hair and it will allow your it will not allow your hair color to take um as good as it's supposed to so you want to wait if you're going to um put any coloring in your hair um to deep condition after you put the color in after so shampoo first then color then condition is the steps that it should go this is a semi permanent hair color because you guys know I am relaxed and I will never put a permanent color on my hair. Now back in the days when I ain't know no better, I used to put a permanent permanent color in and didn't didn't even know why my hair was breaking. Am I black, y'all? Am I black? Didn't even know why my hair was breaking and um I, I never even cared. I just it, it just was what it was. I wasn't on no hair grow journey. I didn't pay no attention. I was just doing my hair as it was, you know. But um now I am a little bit more, a lot more aware of hair 
because I am a licensed cosmetologist. I did go through high school, um, and I do did get all of my credits, and I did graduate at the top of my class, in case anybody wants to know that, because I see a lot of people telling me to go to a professional salon and get my hair done. For what? Huh? Nah. Uh-uh. <laughs> But like you know, been following me for a while. I can post some graduation pictures on there. I can post my license on there. I recertify my license every two years. The first time it was once a year. You have to do. You also have to recertify every two years, and you also have to be tested every two years um, to keep your license. You don't just get your license one time, but then you're done. And um, the the way you learn is you just keep doing the hair. Um, it's called advanced education. You got all the education you need through school, but you can never stop learning, um, doing new techniques and new things to your hair, learning new uh, processes and all of that stuff. Just because you went to cosmetology school don't mean you know everything because you're always learning something new every day. Okay? Okay. So don't tell me I need to go to a licensed professional to do my hair because, girl, you better act like you know. You've been following me for a long time. Um, with my clip. Okay. I'm going to clip. Clip that on. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the back two sections. And um, I am going to come back with you guys because I don't want my camera to cut off. Okay. Now, I don't even know how to cut the camera off because I got color all over my hand. But. Okay, y'all. So, I'm done with all of my hair. I got it all down. I think I got it. I ain't look at the back, but hey, it is what it is in the back. I don't really care that much about the back like that as far as getting the color on. You know. I know my hair grow down my neck in the back. My neck in my back. Hey. So, I got it around my... This is the most important part right here. So, I make sure I pile some glue. glue some color up there. Sometimes this color still don't take at my gray spot at some of the strings up here, but they get most of them, you know, but it's all good because I'm relaxed, so I can't put no permanent color up there, um, because that's, you can't just put, you can't mix two chemicals together and expect success without a great deal of work. It just, and then you know, no matter how much work you put in, eventually, <laughs> no, it just, it just won't work. Just, just trust me. Trust me. You're going to have some sort of breakage if you mix a relaxer with a permanent color. That just is what it is. Okay. But if you choose to do so, go ahead. Hey, my girl, sweet spark, she just did hers. Whatever. You only live once. So if that's, a, if that's what you feel, do it, boo. Can't be boring all your life. Take chances. Take risks. And live. Call life, we gotta live it. So, hey. Okay, y'all. So that's all I'm gonna do to my hair. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a plastic bag. Of, let me just go and get a plastic bag so you can see what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm back with my bag. Dang, I got the bag with the holes in it. Child. Okay, y'all. Got me a good old Walmart bag. And I'm gonna tie it to my head. First, I'm going to loosen my clips up a little bit just so my hair won't be like tightly packed to my head because when you color your hair you don't want to pack your hair onto your head like super duper tight okay so now all my clips loose and then i'm just gonna put my bag over my head so we can marinate penetrate and all of that tie it tight tight and I'm just gonna let this sit for like 30 minutes or whatever do whatever I gotta do around the house edit some more videos or whatever and then I'll wash it out and then I'll be back to show you how it look all washed out and stuff okay oh yeah y'all I forgot to tell y'all be down I color my eyebrows a little bit too <laughs> I always do that when I color my hair and then while you waiting on your color to take under this bag here you want to go I put my bag back a little bit so that way I won't have color around my forehead once I take my bag up and I want to wipe the excess color away so it won't stain my face or my um 
ears take all of that off as much as you can and for the most part my dad gonna come off you know I ain't gonna have too much of a, of a mess I don't want it wiped too close to my edges because then I'm gonna have some gray strings I ain't gonna take because I do that every time and then I'd be like oh man these didn't take so I try to get as much as possible from around it this back here don't matter because it don't get gray back there not yet girl not yet <laughs> keep living keep living it might not ever get gray back there i hope not jesus jesus i don't want the gray okay y'all get all the stuff from around it make sure my eyebrows all right and then i wait do my chores eat breakfast or whatever okay i'll be back girl. when i come back i'm going to show you how everything looks with it taken out i'm not going to go back in the sink and show y'all that process again. Just rinse it out, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Maybe, oh man, I gotta need conditioning. Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like, okay? <laughs> okay, y'all, so I am back, all rinsed out and everything. So what you do is you rinse it out with lukewarm water. Well, I did mine with just warm, semi-hot water so I can get as much color out as I can until the water runs clear. And I did it one section at a time, one section at a time, because I do not have time for tangled hair all on top of my head to be a mess. That is the number one cause of breakage is when you detangling. That, that, that might not be the number one cause of breakage, but that's the number one cause of you breaking your own hair is when you're detangling, okay? Okay. So in order for your detangling process to be smooth, I um, suggest you put it in sections. Okay, so that is how this section came out. And as you can see, the color took very well. This is only a semi-permanent color, y'all. So it's not going to last forever. And as y'all can see, the eyebrows fleekage. My eyebrows are already naturally thick. I just did that just because I was out of that. And I just was like, huh, hey, just do that. But anyways, um, that's going... It looks pretty good. Sometimes I always have some grays right there because it's like my stubborn area. They don't take very well. But honey, it's good enough right now, okay? Say, hey, Jamie, my gray's gone, girl. I'm out of the gray club. I am out of the gray club, girl. So um, this is what my hair looks like now. And um, the back as well. I want to put these two, I want to put my hair back up in these sections because I don't want to get them I want to keep them separated, okay? Before I show y'all the back. I want to keep them separated so I won't get them tangled up, okay? So I'll show y'all the back. And y'all can see my nape area as well. Okay, so that's how that's looking over there. And then I got that one looking like this. Hope y'all seeing this good. Okay, so that's how that came out. So, that's what my hair is looking like. I'm all black again, boo. I'm all black. Let me take down another section. Just take it down so you can see. I'll just give y'all the full effect. How about that? I just won't touch it too much so I won't separate it. Okay, so that's how my hair look all black and all that. I'll turn around so y'all can see that. Okay, and again, this is Clairol Beautiful Collections Advanced Gray Solution, and I use this. This is semi-permanent. Um, it is safe to use on relaxed hair. What I don't recommend is that you use any, any, any color on the same day you relax hair. I don't care what the bottle say or what who say or what they say or what she said. If you're doing your hair at home, I recommend you wait two weeks even after you apply your relaxer. Even though the bottle says you, you can. But I don't recommend it because you're putting your hair uh, uh, through enough stress, putting the relaxer in. You don't want to go through with a semi-permanent color the same day. I mean, that's just my suggestion. That's just my professional opinion, okay? You can do it if you want to. It, you know, whatever. It's your hair. Do, do, do what you want to do. I was just saying. I won't do it to me, okay? So, anyways, y'all, I'm going to... Um, after this, the next step is to deep condition. Now, what I want y'all to do is stay tuned to my next video because I will be doing that in another video um, to continue this series, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to put my hair back up and um, 
let it, I'm probably gonna let it sit for a minute because I got something to do real quick. I need to go take a shower because I got all this color dye on me. And I, yeah, I told y'all about my eyebrows. So I wanna section my hair back. Well, put my sections back up. Put my sections back up. And call it a day for that. Okay. I'm gonna let that hang. It'll be all right. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned to my next video where I go in and show you guys how I deep condition after uh, coloring my hair. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.